Hello everyone, Dan Hurd with Dan Hurd Prospecting here. Welcome to my channel. I'm back in the shop today doing some smelting. It is a smelt, it's more of a melt, but anyhow. We are melting a little bit of gold that I got yesterday on the miller table. Eh, just over two grams. And we're going to make a little gold bar out of it. I absolutely love this melting and smelting stuff. It's so much fun. I don't have to make this into a bar, but I want to because it's fun. I hope you enjoy as much as I do. Now I've got the kiln here just sort of preheating so it won't take so long once I put things in. It is the KK8, the Quick Kiln 8, 8 inch across, uh, Quick Kiln Kiln. Thanks so much to Pat from Quick Kiln and Dave from 911 Metallurgist for supplying me with this kiln. It has been a whole lot of fun to play with. Now the gold I got yesterday on the miller table, just over two grams, as I said, uh, has a bit of black sand in it. So I will be using a flux that can easily take up that black sand, get it out of the gold, and leave me a fairly clean gold bar. When I do these smelts, I'm not getting 100% pure gold into the bar because there are still some metals like silver and copper that don't go into the flux that stay in the gold. So I guess when I'm making these gold bars, they're about 90% gold when I'm done. I've got the flux all mixed up. I'm gonna take you over there and show you what I have and mix in the gold right away. Here we go. Okay, here we go. I've mixed up the flux already. This is five grams of borax, two grams of silica, and two grams of sodium carbonate. I am not using any potassium nitrate in this one because there are no sulfides in this. The black sands are all oxides of iron. They don't need an oxidizer in the flux. So there's no potassium nitrate in there. Someone commented on my last video that I have no idea what I'm doing with fluxing. Kind of rudely said it. Um, but they're kind of right. I am learning about fluxing. The recipe I I used in my last video, I got directly off of Legends website. Legends is a smelting supply company. So I just took the recipe they had for basic refining and I used that. I probably had way too much sodium nitrate in it, but I just used their recipe as it was. Today, I kind of made my own, knowing sort of what I had to do. I used a little less borax than was in the recipe and maybe a little bit more silica and a little bit more sodium carbonate, but, um, and I made a very small amount because I'm using a very small crucible. I can now take my gold, a little bit of gold in there, two grams of gold. I can take my gold, put it directly into my flux, make sure it's all out and mix it up really well. As I said, I'm using a small crucible and that's gonna pretty much fill my crucible today. So I uh, didn't wanna go any more flux than that. That's why I sort of reduced that borax in there. Hope it's still nice and smooth for pouring. And when I was mixing up the flux, I was just using my little scale here to weigh out all of the um, components into their right amounts. So I have an exact known flux in here. I do have the proper eye protection, the proper face shield. I, I have the respirator here today, but I'm not doing any nasty um, smelts. Uh, oh, I might use it. I'm in a very well ventilated shop. This shop is designed for welding in the shop. Some people were saying that I shouldn't have a propane flame inside here. The shop is designed for that. The fume hoods are on. I have really good ventilation. Looks like it's up to temperature here. Let me go turn it off and start loading the kiln. Also, these are fire bricks, not two by sixes, like someone in my last video said. Why are you using two by sixes to put something hot onto? These are fire bricks.
and a very, very full middle crucible. That will melt down and get a lot less in volume very quickly. Without the sodium nitrate and with no sulfides in there, I don't have to worry so much about the flux boiling. So that's why I'm using just a very small crucible. And now I just watch the temperature. I need to get over 2,000 degrees. And we're good. Looking good in there. Looking good. It was a little bit full, but uh, it's staying in its crystal nicely. This is my friend Tony's shop. He used It used to be my shop, but I changed jobs and now Tony's in here, or Mr. Sescon to the students. He teaches both the uh, medieval armory that I used to teach, the art metal, and also outdoor ed. That's why all the uh, animals up on the wall, so students can identify animals. Amazing teacher, Tony. Anyhow, that's not why we're here. I'm going to try something a little different today for making this gold bar. I've got the big mold up on 45 degree angle, and I'm going to try to pour down into the corner of it. So I should get a long, skinny, triangular bar today. And I'm doing that for two reasons. I just want to try it, for one. And also because I'm going to have so much flux. I'm going to have a lot of flux. I don't want to use... The little bar mold and get flux all over it. There'll be way too much flux to go into the little bar molds. So I'm going to use the big one and see how it works. If I don't like what I get there, I'll pop the flux off the top. I'll remelt one more time and I'll use a bar mold. We are up to about 700 degrees right now. I don't want to go woof in flames. I like my beer. Personally, I like my beer. I know not everyone does, but personally, I do. mold into position. I'm gonna tuck my beard back in. I don't lose my beard today. Ooh, she's hot in there. Okay, have a quick look. Nice and hot, very, very hot. I have to do this quickly because I don't want it to cool off. Oh no, a little dot left. I'll pick that off and put it into the next melt. See that? One little dot of silver got up on the side and didn't pour out. Silver? Gold. One little dot of gold got up on the side and didn't pour out. I'll have to put that into the next melt. And I'm not sure if I got a good pour. It's going off on one side. You can see the gold is off on one side. 
I was hoping for a nice little bar right across the bottom, but there might just not be enough volume for it. So if it doesn't come out nicely, I'll remelt it one more time and pour it into that guy right there. There it is. But you can see the bar went completely out that one side. And a little too bubbly, and too small, and all sorts of things. I'm going to remelt that. I'm not happy. I'm going to remelt it. Maybe I just like to play. My uh, main camera. Ran out of batteries, so I'm on my cell phone now. So there it is. I'm not all that happy with it. It went out one side. It's not well formed. I'm going to break it off its flux, remelt it one more time, pour it into the little bar mold. My main camera ran out of batteries, so I'm on my cell phone now. So I managed to break it off there. That's what we got. Not nearly what I wanted, so let's... Whoop. Not nearly what I wanted, so let's redo this. Ooh, should we weigh it first, though? Let's weigh it. <laughs> 2 point one. Basically a hundred dollars worth of gold right there. Canadian. I'm Canadian. It's a hundred dollars worth of gold. Canadian. Almost ready to go again. If there's anyone in the know about uh, fluxes, you may have thought when I was mixing up that flux I had too much silica for the amount of borax. You're probably right. I had to add more borax to that last pour to make it flow nicely. When I first pulled it out, I didn't get it on camera, but it was too thick, too, too thick. So I added a bit more borax, and the next time it poured nicely. So for those of you who are in the know, you probably thought I mixed up that flux wrong. You're probably right. No, oh, my mold's too hot. The mold is too hot. I'm not sure if it can get too hot, but it's blowing. That's probably way too hot. may have got the mold too hot there. I'm not sure if there is a too hot on molds, but I don't think it's supposed to glow quite like that. Hmm. Not much of a bar, more of a dot. Well, I cast myself a dot of gold. cooled so don't have to worry about it. Phew. Okay, today is not a bar of gold, today is a dot of gold. There we go. Two grams of gold in a badly formed bar. Wants to focus on the kill, not my hand. Okay, I'm probably just playing now, but I want a better looking piece of gold than what I got. So I'm gonna try and just cast a dot rather than a bar. formed bar. Oh, that's hot. That looks better.
So I had to run off real quickly there, I had to go pick up my wife, so I didn't really sign off in the video at the shop, but there it is. I know it's not a bar, I could not get a bar to work. Ooh, focus, Ooh. but a nice little two gram bead of gold. Need a little bit more than two grams to make the bar thing work. Beautiful gold. Anyhow. Thanks for watching everyone. Special thanks to all my patrons on Patreon. Because of you I get to make these videos for YouTube. If you want to help contribute to me making these videos, visit me at patreon.com slash danherd. Please leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and until the next video.